Today we're glad to have with us James Maslow from Big Time Rush. Hi James, how are you? I'm doing great, how are you doing? Very good. So you want to tell me how excited were you when you found out you got the part on uh, Big Time Rush? <laughs> I can't even begin to explain. It was. It seemed quite surreal, and in a lot of ways it still does. So uh, I was just one of my, my best friends in the world, Britt, and uh, I was sitting there just at, at breakfast, and I swear every time I've gotten a big part, he's been there. He's like my lucky charm. So I get that phone call. I kind of have this good feeling about it. I pick up. We finish breakfast. Like a couple minutes later, I go outside. I just start screaming. I call my dad. I mean, it was awesome. Oh, my gosh, I can only imagine that feeling. So, uh, yeah, it was cool. Tell me, um, do you feel your life has changed ever since the show? Uh, you know, absolutely, in a lot of ways. In the hours, I never thought that I could work this much. <laughs> uh -huh. But it's, it's really, really cool. Uh, you know, it, it just, I don't, it's, it's very different. You know, I spend most, most of my time just doing this, and I'm doing what I love, so it's awesome. But you just little with the trade-offs. You know, I haven't been home in a few months, and you don't see your, your friends as much as you used to, but... It's absolutely worth it because when you do, you can, you know, take them out to dinner and it's, it's exciting. You have stuff to talk about. Uh huh. Definitely, it pays off. Exactly. Exactly. So tell me, what's an average day like on the set? I uh, get here between six and seven in the morning, and you just shoot about twelve hours. And so an average day is, uh, you know, and then you got to do your your hair and makeup in the morning and just. Like the rumors, it takes me far less time than all the other guys, and everyone here will vouch for that. So here makes like five minutes, ten minutes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> and then, you know, we shoot single cameras. So it's a lot of, you know, they set up the shot, you go and do that side of it, then they turn it around and do that side. And it's actually a lot of fun in between. We've got an amazing crew, and you know, the guys are great, so we just <laughs> goof around a lot and tell a lot of jokes. And, uh, you know, we've got a pool on one of our sets, and once in a while we'll go in and we have, you know, for a dip and oh. just kind of chill out. Oh, wow, cool. Very neat. Yeah. So everybody hangs off on and off set, everyone's friends and everything? Yeah, definitely. That's great. It's actually really, really cool. I mean, they cast us all together, and it wasn't, you know, it's not like we were a band before the thing. They cast the band and the show at the same time, so we're pretty lucky that, that they, they cast four really good guys. At least I can say three other really good guys. Exactly. <laughs> and myself, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Tell me, have you had a favorite episode you filmed so far? Well, I used to be a big time love song. For that one, um, uh, uh, Barney Berman came in, who's an amazing prosthetic genius, and he, uh, you know, did a prosthetic on my face and my hands because like, I did little because of an allergic reaction. And for me, that was really, really cool. I mean, he did, you know, Star Trek and Pirates of the Caribbean, so I was just kind of amazing to work with him. And Lorenzo Lamas guest star. That episode was a lot of fun for me. Uh -huh. And since then, we did one episode called Big Time Party that hasn't aired yet that quite literally was like 60 background every day, and we just had a party every scene. So... I mean, even that, that took a long time to shoot. That was that was fun. Wow, that sounds exciting! I can't wait to see that episode. Yeah, that should be out. I don't know. Next month or two. Uh huh. Uh huh. Now tell me, uh, what can we expect in tonight's episode of Big Time Rush? In tonight's episode of Big Time Rush, <laughs> I'd say this is probably the episode I am most self-conscious about because I have to pull up my shirt uh -huh. several times. The episode. It, it's all about the washboard <laughs> abs, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's what James Diamond believes. He believes all you need to be a good actor is washboard ass. Uh -huh. And so, uh, you know, I've always considered him a very, you know, vain character and, and that effort into you know, making him as good shape as possible with the hours that we do. So, I mean, usually like 5 a.m. or midnight out in the gym or going on a run or something. But hopefully, hopefully that paid off, you guys tell me. It's just pretty funny. I mean, all in all, as long as I get a laugh, it's great. Exactly, yeah. It sounds like a really fun episode. I can't wait to see it. You had a couple guest stars on the show. Um, if you could have anyone guest star on the show, who would you like to see and why? Uh, you know, because of the music aspect, we do get some a recording artists to guest star, and one of my idols is Justin Timberlake. I would love to have him on. Oh, wow. I'm not sure that we would ever become big enough that he'd grace us with his presence, but hey, if he did, that would be really, really cool. Yeah, wow, that would be exciting. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, tell me, is there going to be like a future tour in the works for Big Time Rush? Right now we're focusing on the show. Mm -hmm. We really want it to do well, and we've uh, you know got a handful more episodes to film. And after that, you know we're going to release our album towards the end of the season. And if fans want a tour, I'm pretty sure that we will uh, we will give it to them. But nothing's in, in you know store at the moment. But we're we're preparing. We have our first live performance in New York actually in a few days. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, it's not for fans. But we're already working on that aspect. So hopefully yes, but nothing's set. Great. Yeah. See, I definitely go to the tour. That would be cool. <laughs> I'd love to see that. It. Yeah. Fun. Uh, now tell me, you uh, I recognize you as Shane from iCarly. Um, how did you like playing the love interest between Sam and Carly? That was fun. That was that was honestly one of the best weeks of my life because it was 
was one of the first, you know, really real uh, characters and kind of guest stars I was able to have on, on TV. And working with Dan Schneider and Miranda and Jeanette and that whole crew, uh, they're great. They, they treated me like family and, you know, playing that character is a lot of fun. Just getting <laughs> off, off, you know, between, between takes and goofing and laughing about it. And then we get in into the take and I've got to be this, you know, love interest that doesn't know he's a love interest first. And I don't know, it was, it was great. It was, I got nothing else to say, and the cast is hilarious, and, you know, I'd, I'd almost love to go back and do a guest star again on that show. It was so much fun. Yeah, that would be neat, like a part two or something. <laughs> Shane comes back. <laughs> I'm not sure that could, could happen at this point, but, you know, if it, it, it did, it'd be fun. Yeah, definitely.